students welcome to maths class today we will discuss the next types of the topic volume and surface area which is used to find the volume and surface areas of three dimensional figures children before starting with the questions of today's class we will discuss the objectives of today's class so far we have discussed first four objectives now we will discuss next two objectives that are objective number 5 and objective number 6 now see what is in objective number 5 we will learn volume curved surface area and total surface area of cylinder next objective which we will discuss that is volume curved surface area and total surface area of cone so today we will do some related to cylinder and cone so first of all we will revise the formulas related to cone and cylinder so these six formulas first we will revise then we will do the question so let's have a look on the formulas run first we will do the concept of cylinder so we will do the formulas of cylinder first so children this is the shape of the cylinder this shape curve plus two circles top and bottom now what's the formula of volume of cylinder it is pi r square h meter cube centimeter cube next formula related to cylinder is curved surface area csa of cylinder that is 2 pi r h meter square or centimeter square third formula related to cylinder is total surface area of cylinder that is tsa in short form it is tsa it is equals to now what is total surface area it will be curved surface area plus area of top and bottom what was curved surface area it was 2 pi r h so total surface area will be 2 pi r h plus area of two circles because there are two circles on the top and bottom of the cylinder so area of circle is pi r square so as there were two circles so two circles are these one we will add two times the area of circle that is 2 pi r square now students take 2 pi r common what will be left in bracket h plus r meter square or centimeter square so this is the formula of total surface area of cylinder that is curved plus top and bottom students we will do a question related to the formulas of cylinder which we have discussed just now so statement is find the volume curved surface area and total surface area of cylinder whose radius is 3.5 cm and height is 16 cm so students what is given to us radius of cylinder means this is the value of r and height of the cylinder means this is the value of h and what we need to find we need to find volume curved surface area and total surface area now students we will start with the solution solution is in a cylinder radius equals to 3.5 cm height equals to 16 cm 
Now, first thing we need to find is volume of cylinder. Its formula is pi r square h centimeter cube. Now, put the values. It will be 22 upon 7 into radius is 3.5. Its square is there. So, 3.5 into 3.5 into h. That is 16 centimeter cube. Now students, after doing the cuttings and multiplication, we will get 616 centimeter cube as the answer of the volume of cylinder. Now students, after finding the volume, we will find the curved surface area. So the formula of curved surface area of cylinder is 2 pi r h centimeter Square. Now put the values 2 into 22 upon 7 into 3.5 into 16. Now do the cutting and after multiplication we will get 352 centimeter square as the answer of curved surface area of cylinder. Now after finding the curved surface area the third thing is required to find is total surface area of cylinder. Its formula is 2 pi r bracket h plus r centimeter square. Now put the values. First we will solve the bracket. So after solving the bracket we will get 19.5. Do the cutting and after multiplication we will get 400 29 centimeter square as the answer of total surface area of cylinder. So this was all about the concept of cylinder. Students, after doing the concept of cylinder, we will do the concept of cone. So this is the shape of cone. For example, birthday cap ice cream cone these are the examples of cone so children if we see the shape of cone if we see this part only this is a right angle triangle here we are having 90 degree this is the radius and this is the height now students this height is slanting so that's why this height is known as slant height and it is denoted by a letter L. Now children, this is a right angle triangle. So here we can apply Pythagoras theorem. This will become the hypotenuse. So by Pythagoras theorem, we are having a result related to cone is L square equals to H square plus R square. So this is the first concept related to cone. Students, here I want to tell you one thing that cone is one third of the cylinder. So that's why volume of cone is one third of the volume of cylinder. That is 1 by 3 pi R square H meter cube or centimeter cube. Next formula related to concept of cone is curved surface area of cone that is pi r l where r is the radius and l is the slant height. This one height, this height. Now third formula related to cone is of total surface area of cone. Now again I want to tell you as it was in cylinder what is total surface area? It is curved plus toe. Here we are having only one circle so here we will add only pi r square in curved surface area that is pi r l. So total surface area will be pi r l plus pi r square. Here pi r is common so take pi r common and in bracket we will get 
L plus R. So this is the formula of total surface area of cone. That is pi R bracket L plus R meter square or centimeter square. Now students we will do a question related to these three formulas. Now let's start with the question. Students let's start with the question related to the formulas of cone which we have discussed just now. Statement is find volume total surface area and curved surface area of cone of height 16 centimeter 16 centimeter is the height and radius is 12 centimeter so this is the value of r and we have to use pi as 3.14 so if they have specially mentioned to take pi equals to 3.14 then we will take this value only. We will not take 22 upon 7. So now what we need to find. We need to find volume. Total surface area means TSA. And curved surface area means CSA of cone. Now let's start with the solution. Solution is in a cone height equals to 16 centimeter. Radius equals to 12 centimeter. Now, first thing we will find is volume of cone. Its formula is 1 by 3 pi r square h. Now, put the values that is 1 upon 3 pi. We will use this one that is 3.14 into r square that is 12 multiplied by 12 into h that is 16 centimeter cube. Now do the calculation and after doing the calculation and cutting we will get 2411.52 cm cube as the answer of the volume of cone. After finding the volume next thing we need to find is total surface area. Now children what is the formula of total surface area of cone? It is pi r bracket l plus r centimeter square now students you can see that we are not having l this slant height we are not having in statement so we will find by using the identity of pythagoras that is l square equals to h square plus r square square of l will shift to this side it will become squared now do the addition here we'll get 400 so 400 square root is 20 centimeters so this is the value of l this is the slant height now apply the formula of total surface area of cone this one put the values and solve it we'll get 1205.76 centimeters square as the answer of total surface area of cone so this is the answer now third thing we will find is curved surface area of cone its formula is curved surface area of cone is equals to pi r l centimeter square now put the value of pi that is 3.14 r is 12 centimeter and l is 20 centimeter now put the value to the multiplication and we will get 753.6 centimeter square as the answer of curved surface area of cone so students this was all about the volume total surface area and curved surface area of Cone. Students, today we have learned how to find the volume, curved surface area and total surface area of cylinder and cone. And I hope that concept of cylinder and cone is clear to you and now you will be able to solve the worksheet that has been sent to you in SNAP homework.
थैंक यू